I really love technology, I hate to admit it. it. It makes life more easier, but it also makes life incredibly difficult. I remember my f my first like computer I had as an adult, a hard drive I think was 256 megabytes. My phone is 100 times that size. 100 times, is that right? 256 gig, 100, I don't know, terrible at math. My point being that I found this on the floor. Check this out. can't even pick it up, it's so small. That's 32 gigs. It's 32 gigs right here. This is like an entire life of information on here. And it's this, it's smaller than our rice checks. Unbelievable. So the other unbelievable thing about technology is how fast it delivers information to us, right? And that's pretty amazing. The other thing with social media is I spent a lot of time on it, admittedly. Probably not the best thing. And because this information comes so fast, I, I can jump on Facebook and guaranteed within like 60 seconds I can be totally irritated. Which is kind of my own fault, but it's easy to blame the internet, right? So, But here we go, here's something Bridget Bardot calls Me Too stars hypocritical. In the vast majority of cases they are being hypocritical, ridiculous, uninteresting, says the 83 year old actress. There are many actresses who flirt with producers in order to get a role. Um, this is disgusting. Bridget Bardot is someone who is often embraced in the animal rights movement um, because she's vegan, she cares about animals. Um, it's my understanding she's involved in an animal sanctuary and she, she donates a lot of money to organizations, big organizations, big conservation organizations. But Bridget Bardot, she's a xenophobe, she's racist, and she doesn't believe survivors of sexual assault. This woman is extremely problematic. She says, I was never the victim of sexual harassment and I found it charming when I was told I was beautiful or I had a nice little backside. This kind of compliment is nice. Well, here's a newsflash, Bridget Bardot. It's not nice. It's called harassment. This is one of those moments where I stop and think, are we winning? I hear this a lot. We've reached a tipping point for animals. 2018 is the year for the animals. Veganism on the rise. Animal rights on the rise. Fastest growing social justice movement. And I really have to give pause and say, really? Are, are you sure? And I'm not suggesting that Bridget Bardot's opinions are the be-all, end-all of, of the movement and defines who and what we are. But this kind of way of thinking where we give people passes um, on behavior because of who they are, I feel is pretty prevalent uh, in the movement. And I think it really holds us back. But here's the other thing that really gets me about this article. Beyond all the awful, terrible things we know about Bridget Bardot, right, and how the animal rights movement often apologizes for her because of her love of animals, this article in the BBC... The only time it mentions anything about Bridget Bardot and who she is personally is at the end and it says, Bardot, who is known as a prominent animal rights campaigner, has previously been fined for inciting racism following anti-Muslim comments. Okay, here's the problem. Beyond all the obvious problems with Bridget Bardot, racist, xenophobic, doesn't believe uh, in survivors of sexual assault, here is the BBC, a gigantic international media outlet writing about this topic, the first time they mention who Bridget Bardot is as a person is mentioning that she is an animal rights activist and that she is known for racist anti-Muslim comments. And then they link the two. Come on, people! Like, we, ha we have to do better than this. This is not what we can have in this animal rights movement. In order for the animal rights movement to be taken more seriously as a liberation struggle, we have to start acting like one. We have to show that we support and we believe in the ideologies of other movements. And doing those things not because we want something from them, we want them to be vegan, we want them to be involved in our, our organizations and our movements, but because we believe in them. And I think that we all can agree that racism, xenophobia, and not believing survivors of sexual assault are serious problems. These are folks that we do not need or want in our movement.
and the more that we welcome them in and give them passes, the less we will be taken seriously. The harder it will be for us to make inroads into other movements, into other organizations, into different communities other than our own. And I'm not saying that this is the only reason we should care about these issues. Obviously, that's not the case. I see so many people online saying it's okay to support people like Bridget Bardot because she cares about animals. She's famous. We can use her celebrity status to push our agenda. No, 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 no. No. It's a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. And this is just one small example of exactly why that doesn't work. That's not a movement that I want to be a part of. I strongly believe that social justice movements, including the animal rights movement, want to build bigger and better and more positive communities. And I think the first step towards that is acting like we want those things. Showing folks outside of our communities that we support them, that we care about them. But we show up because there is intrinsic value in what they are doing. So that's the question. Are we winning? I think as a movement, we do amazing things. I think we could do so much more and we could be so much more. But we have to start asking those big questions. We need to start having those difficult conversations. And hopefully we can start to do a little bit of that here. And today's question is about hall passes. Do we give hall passes to racists, to xenophobes, to people that don't believe or support uh, survivors of sexual assault? Do we give passes to transphobic people, homophobic people? Do we say all those things are okay as long as you support the idea of animal rights, as long as you're vegan, that all the rest of your politics don't matter? To me, the answer is obvious, and I hope it's obvious to you too. So drop some comments, drop some questions. If you want to talk about something, uh, hit me up, put it in the DMs, the PMs, whatever the kids are doing these days with the messages. Uh, tweet at me, Instagram, Facebook, I don't care. Most of all, hit subscribe. I'm gonna try to do this uh, at least once, once a week. I got one subscriber right now. That person's gonna be stoked when this video comes out. But you could be the next subscriber, hit me up. In the meantime, uh, I need to get the hell out of here.